Mm-hmm. Okay. I think so. Let's get rolling. Good afternoon. It's Robert and Julia Miller with the Jay Patel Group and Rethink Real Estate with another exciting real estate update. It's a fabulous day. Episode 87. 87, yep. Awesome. Please remember to like, like and subscribe. And subscribe. We're building our uh, viewership slowly but surely. But, uh, yeah, and this past week, our travel channel surpassed this channel. But you put out a lot of videos, so. Mm-hmm. Check yeah. those out. Uh, yeah. Joey will put the link in there. Highlighting uh, our Alaska trip and yes. everybody in this hot weather is thinking about Alaska and it's a beautiful time to see Alaska for sure. So I'm getting a lot of views on mm-hmm. that. Yeah, it's a really fun fun uh, travel series to put out. So All right, you got a joke for us? I do, yeah. So if having one child makes you a parent, then having two makes you a referee. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a parent out there that will disagree with that. Doesn't that. feel like a referee. Yeah, yeah. No matter how know. close they are, there's still times when you got a referee. Yeah. yeah. Remember when we got uh, Heather and Sam boxing gloves? Oh yeah, the big oversized big, things. Big, yeah. well, I'm like, I'm gonna get you guys yeah. boxing gloves. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> Okay, uh, when I was a kid, we ate ice cream out of a toilet paper roll and didn't complain a bit. Push pops. Push pops. <laughs> Love the push pops. Yes. Yeah. The orange. They only came in like two flavors, I think. Orange sherbet. I and, remember uh, orange, yeah. Was there a strawberry it like maybe? a strawberry. Some yeah. kind of strawberry. Maybe even a cherry. I don't know, but it was, yeah. it was a pink colored one. So. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on from the joke of the day, let's do a little, a little history, history for this yeah. week. We love history, so we always touch on it, see what's happening in history mm-hmm. for the week. Yeah. 1990, Iraq invades mm. Kuwait August 2nd, sparking the seven-month Gulf War. Yeah. 1989... This is a huge day. Nintendo launches the Game Boy handheld device in the U.S. on July 31st. Uh-huh. Yes. Number one <laughs> gift request for Santa that year, uh-huh. that's for sure. Mm-hmm. 1971, on July 31st, astronauts drive the first lunar rover on the surface of the moon. 1982, and this guy is appropriately named. Oh, okay. Charles A. Wheeler mm-hmm. receives a patent for the escalator. Oh. <laughs> August 2nd. Keeps you moving. <laughs> yep. Uh, 1890, on August 6th, pitcher Cy Young wins the first of his 511 Major League victories. I did not realize it was that old, or he was that old. Or, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, well, that's the only way he was able to get to a 511, because the pitchers during the... Mm-hmm. Um, during that era softball whatever they called it the ball you know they only played with one ball and they would beat it up so bad that it wouldn't go anywhere in the later innings and <laughs> so the pitchers were basically just feeding the ball to the hitters now since the home run era and yeah. the, and the tightly wound baseball pitchers have got a well this and nowadays they have to throw 95 mile an hour for their fastball oh, yeah. or they they can't make it and Yep. It's a different game, so nobody's yeah, ever going to approach 511 That's victories why they call it again. The Cy Young Award for pitchers. That's um, right. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, finally, 1861, the U.S. government first levies income tax August 5th. Mm. It was three percent on income over eight hundred dollars. Okay. Wow, three percent. I would love to pay three <laughs> percent. <laughs> yeah. Right now. So. <laughs> All right, oh that's boy. a little history that's for you. History. Let's move on to a little bit of news. Um, yeah, we had an exciting uh, last seven days. Anyway. Yeah, last week was packed yeah. with all kind of um, a lot of the big uh, companies put out their earnings reports mm-hmm. and their predictions for the for the coming rest of the year and right and the Fed rate and there was just a lot going on. So mm-hmm. anyway, uh, mortgage rates actually dropped. Uh, average mortgage rates uh, declined last week following another 75 or, uh, point hike to the baseline rate right. by the Fed Reserve. And I think they were fearing that that might be a full 100 point mm-hmm. increase. Yeah, we talked so, about it being a 100 point. Is what so they that were... may have something to do with the rates so falling too. But, uh, yeah. yeah, that's good news for 
borrowers. Yeah, I like this chart, how it's showing the rates going down mm -hmm. over the last few weeks. So exactly. that's great. Uh, home builders are offering incentives. Oh, yeah. Uh, and some of them are huge. Mm -hmm. um, I was on the phone with a builder today. Mm -hmm. They were offering $32,000 yeah. at the design center. That's what I heard you say. I was and like, $32,000? On average, the uh, their buyers are, are spending about fifty to fifty-five, dollars and they're offering thirty-two. dollars Wow, so that's so covering a lot that's of That's covering a ton of that. And in addition to that, they were offering 6% towards your closing cost if you use their lender. Wow. So call Robert if you want to yeah, know. Yeah, if you want more information on <laughs> what builder that was. On that builder, <laughs> let me know. Give me a call yeah. and I'll fill you in. Yeah. Um, wow. Okay, so they're adding incentives uh, to swoon amid uh, increased supply. New home sales fell 8% in June as supply increased to 9.3 months. Mm, that's a big number. That's a big number. Yeah, nine. median price still rose though 7.4% to 402.40. So prices are staying steady, I would say. I don't think we're seeing huge increases. No, yeah. I mean, it says it rose 7.4, but that's some delayed data. Those are homes that went under contract as much as 60 days ago, so. Well, and we certainly don't have nine months of inventory here in the Valley. Not, mm -hmm. oh man, no, we yeah. we have, probably we're, we're around three. I haven't seen lately. We'll check the next stat report. Yeah, I think it was yeah. in the, I don't think we're at three yet because that would be yeah. a balanced market, but that'll be the indicator when we get It'll to be three, close, we'll, yeah. we'll be there. Yeah. Um, so, um home new homes do gain popularity because of what we're talking about here mm -hmm. even as sales softened a higher percentage of home shoppers looked at new construction in the mm -hmm. second quarter of 22 and 2022 the likely reason um for the turnaround is the growing inventory which right. we just talked about are new homes for sale as yeah. existing homes I've got some inventory homes remains life. very tight yeah. although it is continuing to grow but it, we are seeing a little bit of a slowdown i'll get into that in a little bit slowdown in growth in uh, the number the inventory Increasing. level yeah yeah um housing news um the Still arguing about the recession question. Are we in an <laughs> are we or aren't we? Are we? The, the economic <laughs> slowdown is creating headaches for the White House, even though most analysts have not called it a recession. Mm -hmm. uh, this may not change public perception, however. A July yeah. poll indicated that 65% of registered voters, including 78% of Republicans, think the economy already is in a recession. So, and you had some additional recession news, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, well, after some of these announcements that were made last week, um, Lawrence Yoon, the um, chief economist for the National Association of Realtors, said, uh, possible economic downturn likely to be mild. So this is good news. Mm -hmm. I was excited to see this. And why does he um, think that? Why does he think that? He said that there are two common indicators <clears throat> that he feels like... Um, will help slow the the downturn and the economic um, recession mm -hmm. that we're in, although no one's calling it recession yet. Yeah, not yet. <clears throat> so he says two, two major factors are at work <clears throat> counteracting current economic conditions. Job, job creation is robust. Yep. So that's good. Um, and then the other thing is commercial real estate is growing. That's something we don't touch on very much. We don't much. talk about that very often, although I did want to kind of start talking about it on a local level. Um, you know, so I, I'm, I've got that on my radar of things to kind of check out um, and report back to you on Just what's happening in growth. our mm -hmm. area. Yeah, that's a good Valley. idea. Yeah. There are, there are a lot of new retail opening up. We do so. sometimes, but not as often maybe as we should. So yeah, okay. yeah that's one Good. of the things, two, the, two of the things that he says will likely slow down the uh, downturn. So that's good. Okay. Uh, moving on to regulatory news. Uh, real personal spending was, was up 0.1% in June. That's basically I know flat. my real personal spending was 
down down <laughs> considerably actually yeah but <laughs> income is not keeping up with inflation a real disposable income uh, is down 5.8 percent that's the one that's and down. there was a report down. on the news ABC today about the number of people who are living paycheck to paycheck mm. and it's up uh. definitely moving up and the um, during the pandemic, we saw amazing growth in savings. People were staying home yes. and saving a ton of money, True. and that is it definitely heading in the wrong direction uh, now. So, um, all right. Okay, so the U.S. Uh, gross domestic product, excuse me, fell 0.9 percent in the second quarter, following a 1.6 percent Q1 decline. So there's where you're mm. having two quarters, which is supposed to equal yeah. a recession, but most analysts are not yet calling it recession. Not labeling it recession yet because probably of those other factors, you know, the other areas that we are still growing in. Right, it's kind of a so, mixed bag. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, so nearly half of higher prices are due to energy commodities like oil and natural gas. Mm. Also important are cotton, iron ore, lumber, coffee, and chicken chicken yeah chicken <laughs> falls in there my sister was just talking about chicken prices being up yeah, that's i'm like right. well you should she be a vegetarian was not, then. she was not happy about the price of no, chicken whoa <laughs> um <laughs> so um consumers can limit exposure to inflation somewhat with cutbacks but price reduction depends heavily on a rebound in the commodities market in other mm -hmm. words the things that you just can't avoid buying right um you know that's going to be important like coffee. Yeah, if we're going to get inflation under control, we got to get that under control. <laughs> so gotta get, commodity. get the coffee prices under control. Come on. Yeah, very important. <laughs> All right, uh, All moving right. on, we did see a decline in rates. 30-year, um, okay. 5.78 down to 5.25. 15-year, 4.939 down to 4.50. Mm, the VA wow, was good down. good drops. Those mm -hmm. are healthy drops. Yep, yeah. Yep. Uh, 5.393 on the VA down to 5.0, okay. and seven-year arm uh, was level, 4.625. Oh, the same. Interesting. Yeah. Now, inventory, we've been reporting it's forever seemed like it was running a thousand more yeah. every single every week, month, but it, like uh, it started week, slowing yeah. down. We, we, I think we only had like 600 last week, 800 the week before. Right. Yep. This week it's only 500. Mm. So we are seeing okay. a slowdown in the okay. amount of inventory that's growing. So the Valley went from 17,219 to 17,708. All those people, all those families moving around before the school season started maybe and maybe mm. now they're staying put so they're not yeah they're something's doing it we're we're peaking and it feels like we're peaking good um okay well, we will see uh yes. peoria a little closer to home 585 we're up to 612 now surprise was at 734 and they're now at 752. all right so up across the board pretty much numbers still up across the board yeah. Okay. Locally, everything was pretty flat. The only uh, community we saw a substantial tick up was Westbrook Village, but mm -hmm. I mentioned last week that they had seven homes that were coming soon. Oh, and they so came. <laughs> six, they, had, they were up they six. They came to active. Oh, okay, six. So yeah, but one, everybody else is pretty flat. So Trilogy at Vistancia has 32 homes available. Price okay. range 530000 to $1,250,000. Mm -hmm. Vistancia Village has 55 homes, a nice uh, supply to choose from buyers. Uh, 345000 the most affordable, $1,299,500. Mm -hmm. Uh, Blackstone Country Club still at 11, 830,000 the most affordable, 2,950,000 mm -hmm. tops the list. It's a slower market, <clears throat> that's for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cordobella, 13 homes available, 419,000 the most affordable, 875,000 the most expensive. Sun City Grand comes in at 55 homes, 349,000 the most affordable 940,000 tops the list. Mm -hmm. Sun City West is still over 100, 107, 248,999 is the most affordable, <laughs> 899,000 is the most expensive, and finally Westbrook Village is up to 29 homes. That is a lot for Westbrook yeah, Village. Yeah, they most. used to have like seven, six and seven homes. Yeah, sometimes three, two. Yeah. So that's the most I've seen Westbrook Village wow. have in a long, long time. 
29, uh, most affordable 380,000 and 675,000 tops the list. So Sun City Grand, we put out something on Instagram last week, I think. Are those amenities done? Did you get a chance to go in there? You you were yeah. over in Sun City Grand. Yeah, they had okay. waterfall running. Now they did. There was a fountain um, that looked like it was okay. It didn't look like it was under construction, but it was not running at the time. So mm. they may still okay. be working on that. But the rest of the water feature and stuff was all done. So did you go into the the facilities because it seemed like they were doing I just went into the cafe okay that was the only thing but I had to walk through the promenade to right you know and that was all tore up last time we were in there yeah. it's it's looks like it's done so okay we'll have to go yeah. over and kind of do some video and capture that a little bit maybe even just put it on social media yeah that's a good yeah. idea show what's going now, on now I there. had something else to say oh um, I feel like for Blackstone Country Club what slows them down a little bit is their HOA fees, because they're a country club uh, community, you don't actually get to use the facilities unless you're a country club member. Right, you have to join the country <laughs> club and you can do it either on a social level or a uh, golf, mm -hmm, and golf that membership. includes the social, and they have equity and non-equity right. uh, options for that. So There are some um, different levels on that. Though. I mean, you certainly still get the common areas and you know living in that beautiful community um, you know the gated community and all of that but yeah in order to use the facilities you've got to be a member it's just a so. very very uh, exclusive very exclusive <laughs> very expensive mm -hmm. community so yeah. you know you're not going to see property move in that community as quickly as, as you are in other other communities so and it's not a big community either. I mean, there it's a yeah, four hundred and something homes. Yeah. Yeah. So. so. Anyway. All right. That is our report for this week. Everybody have a blessed week, yes, and have we a will week. see you again next week. Take All care. Right.